Okay, today my son and I went to the Evolutionary Combatives Mastery Seminar. Today is Saturday, June 10th, 2017. Had a great time. It was well worth the money. And I'm going to share some of the bits of wisdom that they had at the seminar. If you think this is going to be the video where you can come and jack all the techniques, and ha-ha, I don't have to pay, ha-ha, no. A lot of times karate, people just think of karate as a striking art. You know, they see a lot of kicks, punches, chops, but they don't understand it's a lot of grappling in there. Um, and I'm pretty much, I'm going to pull it straight from the katas or forms, okay? And we're going to learn a little bit of one form called uh, Nahachi Shodan, okay? If nobody... It's called Nahachi in Okinawan Karate, and Japanese Karate is called Teki Shodan, or the Teki Katas. In Taekwondo, that form is called Chulji. Not all schools use Chulji, but if you want to know what the Korean name for it, it's Chulji. Um, it's a very short kata. I'm going to demonstrate it in a little bit um, once I finish, finish talking. It's a very short kata. It's the shortest kata in our style. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate Nahachi. Kata! Nahachi Soda! Us! So, in order to really elevate your knowledge of kata and the movements within the kata, you gotta study it and see what you're doing in between. Simple things, uh, even your your ready position. Uh, face this way. Hopefully, this is not the, the you know this won't be the last one. So, uh, when you see me next time, you can pull me aside. Since they tell you, you know, we work on this kata, what are we doing? You know, and I'll give you my best answer. And if I don't know, I know somebody that does. Okay, oh, oh, oh. all right, ready position. Feet together. Bow. The next guy is not on the flyer. He's trained CIA, FBI. He's a Wing Chun practitioner in addition to other styles of martial arts. Um, he goes by Jimmy. Good afternoon. So let me just, and I'm going to make this very short because I know we want to get into some training and we have some other instructors that would like to come up here. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a background, uh, I've been doing martial arts for about 20 years. Uh, I started off with Wing Chun. I've done some Filipino, Kali, Eskrima, Panachukin, Panachukin. Uh, I did a U.S. Navy SEAL program in Rockville about 10 years ago. Um, Muay Thai, Thai boxing, Sabat, a lot of weapons. So I actually worked with, I trained members of the FBI, the field officer for the DEA and some CIA agents about 15 years ago before the economy got really bad, I lost that position. But I had to create a style and a form that was very quick, very effective. These guys didn't have a lot of time to get in, they had to get out. Get in, get out. Um, just like the other gentleman was saying, you might encounter more than one person in the street. Okay? How many people here have actually been in a real fight? Is it ever the way that you planned it to be? Of course not. <laughs> no. Mike Tyson said it best. Everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face. Punched in the face? I got kicked in the mouth by dude's brother. That hurt. That still hurt. I can still feel that one. Okay? No truer words, honestly. So what I had to do was create a form based on all the different styles that I did, and I call it Guanjido, which is Cantonese for way of the light, so the people will get out of the dark ages of fighting. Adapt, economy of motion. Closest distance between two points is what? Straight line, okay? So a straight will always be an angle, but an angle will always be a straight. So you have to be able to adapt. And there's four ranges of combat. 
What we do is we train in the third range, which is slightly beyond punching and right before grappling. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to show you guys some techniques based off of the third range of combat. Our geo is very special to me because it was a spiritual journey. I'm actually full Native American with a little bit of Irish. So it was very spiritual to be able to put together something that helped increase my own awareness and beauty of the martial arts. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is ask you guys a question. And what I'm going to have Robbie do is Robbie is going to put on the helmet, which he loves to do, even though his face may not show it. <laughs> What's the most common punch on the street? Haymaker. haymaker. Oh, yes. The infamous haymaker. What is the first reaction that people will do off of a haymaker? And I'm not talking about a trained fighter, somebody who knows better. I'm talking about the average guy on the street who's trying to get home from work or protect his wife or kid. What's the first thing he's going to do? Throw your haymaker. Right? See? I've already slipped. I moved away. Right? What is our answer to a haymaker? He throws his haymaker, boom! <laughs> We're gonna come right down his center line. And it got, it got even better from there. Poor dude in the helmet. Anyway, the next presenter is Master Justin. One of the things that we're here to do today is to teach each other. Learn, share, acknowledge, and exchange. So with that being said, I'm gonna actually capitalize on something that uh, Sifu Jimmy and Sensei Teddy started to capitalize on, it, well, started on at first. Um, except for, besides just the slight grappling aspect that's also involved in the martial arts, I'm going to capitalize more so on the infighting aspect. Uh, so, so I'll have uh, Master Ryan Patterson helping me out with this. Uh, just understand the fact that a lot of these spot situations will start from this point, a lot of these situations will get to this point, and everybody's swinging, poking, as Sifu Jimmy pointed out, the haymaker being very, very popular. But at the end of the day, we're only human. We run out of gas. Of and a lot of times, what happens when we run out of gas, everybody wants to what? They want to wrestle. They want to fight. They, you know, they throw you in whatever. And I'm not opposed to that. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. If you fight me, you and the entire room will be one with each other. Uh, <laughs> I'm using everything I know. But my thing is, what do you do? What do you do when the fight gets to this point and we're tired and it's about whose will is stronger? Who wants this fight more? Right. You know, what do you do when you get to this point? What kind of techniques do you use? So just to uh, elaborate on some things, just to understand the clinch game a little more, there are a few different types of clinches. You have the double overhooks, you have underhooks, which trust me later, if I get you in there, you're going over here. Oh, face this way. You have your single overhook. All these things right here, you even have your regular lockers, your side clinch. All these things can lead to an inner strike and then a movement by the control. That's the reaction to the wrong. If you didn't have wrong, I'm just going to play Master Justin introducing the next presenter because he gave a great introduction. Next up, we have a very, very special brother. I love this brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, to like, I should say. Mm -hmm. sir. Good. 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 Sensei is kind of just fine with me. All right. Um, been training martial arts 26 years. My instructor, my instructor is over on the side there, Professor Penn. So. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, I'll say this much. I ain't that old. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all on the inside. inside. I'll just say this much. I'll tell you. This is not me. This is a reflection of my teacher. All right. So. Alright, I'm gonna keep it real simple. Us. Alright, us. 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 Alright, my thing, uh, my thing is, when I, uh, I'm thinking of uh, in close 
quarters, all right? You want to elevate, all right? Somewhere in tight. And it may not go the way that you want. Oh. Some, uh, somebody, you know, you know how some of these young dudes are today, they want their money, and it might just be you. They think it's that victim that day. And lo and behold, you ain't that victim. And you don't get the whole drill because you didn't go. And what I mean by small, if you can do your techniques inside of a bathroom, phone booth for old school folks, um, and that's the only way that you're going to be able to perfect your techniques. And like I said, footwork, movement is key. What's, 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 what's. Next up was Sensei Khalil. Check him out. This what? Anybody feel wrong in Anybody? Anybody? They won't let you grab their wrist. Won't let. Yeah. Implicating what? You gotta, you gotta take it. Implicating compliance. Yep. I'm not gonna comply with that. I wouldn't do that. What I would do is this. This is what I'm gonna do. YouTube comments. If you're on the couch eating popcorn, commenting on how somebody else is practicing their art, then you're not gonna do anything. Because that's your art. Us? Us. So what happens is we don't program ourselves to react because we don't drill enough. Us? So it's all about the drilling because you're trying to reprogram your reflexes, right? Okay, so um, there's no compliance. It's just that for the Tory and the well-experienced Tory, such as Brother Shabazz over here, they understand that when a water bumps up against a rock or a mountain, it doesn't try to get in a fight with that mountain. It just goes around that mountain or that rock. So he looks like he's chilling, like he looks like you know, he's floating because he's not resisting anything that he comes up against. Huh? First, huh? But combatants resist. So we're just going to take a minute to just put this in a capsule real quick. So um, just to make it a drill, to make it a drill. Um, that's good. Okay. So first of all, everything has a story. We'll talk all day. Doesn't matter. Bottom line is everything should hurt. You, he punches. Is his energy meeting my energy? And if my energy is merging with his energy, but it's influencing his energy, then it should hurt. And I should be okay. Oh. So something as simple as this, right? Two hands going up. So, right? I have to load my traps, and then when he falls into this, I'm right there to receive it. Oh. Right, so Sorry that got cut off. He really gave us some good things having to do with resistance and off balancing what we call Kazushi and Judo very very good the next presenter is master Ryan I'm gonna see what you're gonna do you can take him down from the front you can take him down from the side okay? oh. so when you take him down from the front so you can take him down from the side don't move opposite side of the post boom right yes. that's just to get someone off of it, okay Again, when we're in the guard, controlling. Now, we still have the option to strike, okay? Anything that you can think of, standing up, you guys can do right here on the ground. You guys understand that? <laughs> Anything. Okay. Your, your cleanup is your cleanup, okay? Some good stuff there. Okay, the last presenter was Senior Master. Robert Sistrunk, a.k.a. Senior Master Zeke. This here, two things that happen. Either you'll panic, you hear, or you will fight your way out, bro. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yep. What are we going to do? When he, he push here, strike here. Give him a little bit here. Ooh. Same thing. Okay? Uh -huh. Not so much here. Push it out. Well, you just want to take it to get home, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Be aware. There's more to sensitivity, again, than just touching hands. Being sensitive to your surroundings, where you are. I can tell probably two or three of you what you did, and I picked up one. So the event in September, I'm going to speak to all of the masses here because I like to invite them out. Because I think we're finally at that time now where we can all come together and train under one group yes. as one unit. 
Yes, sir. You know, because up until now, it's always been us on our own little island, which is okay because we're still doing the work in the community, right? So what if we all came together? I just the floor again to make this point. I got a call uh, like two days ago from a guy uh, up in Boston. It is crazy accent, but he was uh, he's fifty something, and he asked me, uh, "Are you one of them schools where you you have to be a young guy to do this? Because I'm not no young guy." And really, the, the answer was like no. But for him to understand it, you know, I had to let him understand where we were coming from. And, if you ever have like an ailment or something like, don't let that discourage you or stop you from getting on the mat. Like, honestly, I'm offended when people don't get on the mat because nobody has a reason not to get on the mat, right? I mean, I know I'm not the only one that's fasting today, us. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is when you come <laughs> up against when you, <laughs> <you're late. laughs> when you when you come up against like an injury or an ailment or something but you have a passion for it, don't tell yourself you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Just work around it, just like that water that we talked about earlier. If you love this and you want to do this, just get up and do it, man. I mean, don't put no age limit on it, don't put no us. St. Murray out there is just samurai guard right now. I'm done talking. And there were quite a few other grandmasters in attendance. Um, Grandmaster Alicia Baz, I believe, is the Aki. Aki Jitsu Grandmaster out of Baltimore. He was at the gathering of styles. We're talking about light touch, light touch. That was phenomenal. Um, Sifu Lushpin was there, and there were other people there from Simba, people affiliated with um, the late Grandmaster Wyatt that were there, and it was a really good, awesome time. One thing I want to piggyback on before I segue into my outro was how they were talking about how, yeah, with Shihan Khalil, how you were talking about how you shouldn't let an injury keep you from training or your age keep you from training. Listen to me, people, you beginners out there, and even not so beginners. If you got an injury, you got something hurting you, I can guarantee you, you can come and train with me. I will work with you and I will help you get to where you need to be. Call 301. 616. You want to find out more? Go to CECILRYU.org, CCWU.org. Peace.